Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to the Sightless Demo. Sightless is an adventure game, but a boy that basically goes out and tries to learn about the world. Long ago, there was a great and powerful witch known throughout the land for her deeds. One night, the town requested to take her to take care of a monster that gifted death to all who saw it. The creature easily cornered the witch, but the witch was crafty. At the last second, she defeated the monster with a powerful spell, but not without the end of the witch's life. And thus, the town was saved. Oh gosh, what a story. That person was really brave, wasn't she? Yeah, I suppose so. Suppose? She saved a whole town, Ivan. Even at the cost of her life. She's very strong. Alright, alright. Do you think I'll be able to be like her someday? Not magical or anything like that. Oh, or dying, I hope. No, I just... I just want to be brave. Brave, huh? Brave enough to tackle school tomorrow? Oh, not that brave. Uh, that's right. I'm really nervous about that. Maybe I'm not so brave after all. No, no, I wouldn't say that. Being nervous is normal. Speaking of which, it's getting late. Do you want me to help you to bed? I should be fine. Don't worry. Title drop. Silas. Knock, knock. Wake up, Sina. I've got breakfast ready. A set of fluffy stuffed animals. Fluff. There's a glass of water sitting on the table. It's important to keep hydrated. This year's school books are lined here. This set covers language and grammar. A small bug alerts you, reminding you of a way to adjust your walking speed. Something about a menu and a skill option, and the word dash. How curious. Hey, I'm the tutorial bug. You're talking about the tutorial in a very unsubtle way. How you doing? Can you have PJs for a day? Sure. Hey, plant. Hey, door. This is Ivan's room. You've never been in here before. So who is Ivan, anyway? There you are. I made omelets. So let's dig in, shall we? Omelette to rice. Thank you for the food. Any time. I hope school goes well, okay? Make sure to come home safe, too. There's a wide assortment of food in this fridge. Sounds like a fridge. I have there's always well stocked on food. Of these pictures, there's only one you know of, and that's Ivan. Maybe because, well, you told me you should put one up of him. You're hoping he kept true to his word. Weird. Wait, what? Oh no, okay. So this is like the living room, that's the kitchen. Oh, funny house layout. That's a melting Pikachu. That's a Neopet. And these are a bunch of Pokemon. And that's a Digimon. Yep, they're all here. And this is a discarded Sega CD. I mean, TV. It's a Sega CD. Let's go out. Actually, should make a... Actually, I don't know how to make a save. So anyway, despite this being a demo, uh, it's in the description that it does have multiple endings, quite a few, like eight or so. So supposedly this is actually pretty expansive for a demo. I, Sena Lucklore, live in the town of Reverie. At least that's what I'm told. But I've never been around any buildings that house people, just to a school that I'm told to go to every day. That's a little weird. It's as if... Dream World. The world I know is high up in the sky, away from the world below. That I do not live in reverie, but above. The wind feels nice today. Let's go to a school in the 
Sky crystal. Hey, there's a bird here. For a moment, time stands still. Oh, it's a save point. May you treasure this moment as much as I. Is there only one save per run? Maybe. Um, teacher? Oh boy, I should be ready to teach, but why I'm so nervous? No, I should be okay. Are, are you some kind of a centipede dragon? With pink hair? Oh, hey kiddo, this class isn't yours. <laughs> I can't wait for class to start. My friend and I are still gonna prank to teach hardcore. <laughs> We have very interesting co-students. Oh, right on cue. Take a seat. With everyone here, I should like to make an announcement. For the first time in years, we have a new student. Let's have a warm welcome. Yay. Thank you, thank you. I'm Lucy Lofi, the angler down under. Let's all be friends, gay. Aye. Uh, are you, you from SpongeBob? Thank you, Lucy. You may sit here. Let's go over some history, okay? As we all know, our school is powered by the mascot of the Grand Dragon. Tell me, how does the Grand Dragon keep our school floating in the sky? Magic. Or does a wizard do it? No one. Alright. It's because of the laws of magic that I told you that govern our world. But magic is cast and must have a source. With short bursts of magic, keeping that source available is not necessary, but... The Grand Dragon stays in the position that she's in due to the constant need to feel the magic keeping our school afloat. Oh, no worries. The dragon will never ever run out of power. That's what they said. I can say that with confidence. But we can use this as a way to understand our magic and apply it to our teachings. Now then, let's all learn the spell for causing an object to float, shall we? You listen intently to the rest of the lecture. You've learned the float spell. Oh, hey, Sena. How'd that spell go? Jello. Not that well. I have the basics, but... With someone like myself, you'll learn more. Come on, let's go to my house. We can study lots. I have to ask Ivan about it first, and I've never been to anyone else's house. But I'll think about it, okay? Oh, that's... But that's all the more reason to come. I'll wait out in front, okay? It's really not that far from the school, promise. Whoa-wee, what's this classroom? Who are you? I'm not sure why you're here, but it's kind of you to be talking to me. Have a lovely day. Nice star. So they're blacked out, that means... Can't go into there. Oh, this is a dragon in the background. Well, you're a lot bigger than... You looked from the, uh, outside. Oh, hello, dear. You can help finding your way back to class. Yes? Oh, you really have forgotten? Let me guide you. Do not worry, I'll guide you as often as I can. Here we are, classroom 2 2. I've already been here. I just wanted to see what you do. Hey, bird. Record me in time. Yeah, you were a lot bigger than you look from the outside. So is this, is it your house? A massive tree, how far does it go? Oh, well, hey! Do you talk to your bro? No. Can we just lie and get a bad ending? Probably. Time to turn on the... Dash. B dash who? Ivan? Ivan! Oh, Sena. Welcome home. How was school? Pretty good, but um... Can I uh, go uh, at a place with a friend? A place? Where? Oh, um... There's someone at my school who wants me to go to their house. His name is Jello. 
He's a really sweet fellow. <laughs> he even said he lived nearby. Oh yes, Cello Pamelo. You can visit him. Have a good time, okay? Oh, thank you. I'll have a good time. I'm gonna bring my N64. We're gonna play some Mario Kart. And some Mario Kart. Oh, hey, did you talk to your bro? Yeah. Oh, good. I'll bring you upstairs. It's, it's an interesting house you got here. And here we are. Sorry about the small room. It was really only made for one and one alone. It is a bit cramped. A little, but, ah, uh, well, let's do some studying, shall we? But we could tackle the spell today. According to the lecture, magic can be used in two ways, on the field and in battle. Currently, our magic is to work in the field. Let's try moving the book in front of you. Lift it gently, send it forward. <laughs> can I just smack you? <laughs> Yes, that's how it works. If you see an object marked with that symbol, you can make it float. The other mode of magic is in its battle use. I'm not good at fighting, so I'll stick to explaining. In battle, this magic allows you to make an object float onto another. The force hurts both involved. Something a bigger object to ram into a smaller object yields the better res best results. That being said, unless you perfected the spell, I highly doubt you'll be lifting huge objects. Is that a challenge? A challenge? Are you serious? Whatever the case, you shouldn't practice magic in that manner. It could be dangerous to look at the music cut out. The both of us. I'm serious. Uh huh? Like I said before, I'm not a good fighter. Are we really gonna practice like this? What if one of us gets hurt? It'll just be you, Jello. Fine, we can practice, but... After someone's hit three times, we stop. Okay? I already don't like this practice as is. Which I vote. The burb? The book of magic? The math book? Or the paper? Vote Jello! Please, Sponge Jello, nothing seems to happen. Take this! Book! Vote the burb! Fly, bird! The plushie goes flying. Ooh, take this! Damn books. Take your journal! Or you lost, okay? Let's stop. Left another book. Are you not satisfied? You lost, and that is that. So, stop, please. I ain't so loser. Fight to the end. Book goes flying. Oh! For the power of science. Hey, stop that. Bad and here we come. Seriously, stop. That hurts. This paper goes flying. I'm calling my parents. Mom, anyone? Oh god, what have we done? I should have never played science. Please help, please. Why, why did I do that? I thought I had control. I should be getting home. So that's, that's straight to a bad end right there. That's straight to a bad end. We just went full dark side route. It's gonna be a prequel to Star Wars Episode 1. The story of Palpatine. Oh, there you are. Just in time for dinner. How was it? You told Ivan about your day at school and about how you visited Jello. Make an object float? Ivan couldn't believe that. The school had taught you that. So quickly, too. He spent the night showing him a few tricks before setting him to bed. Who's that? So, what are you trying to prove? I already know what. Will you keep it up? Wake up, Cena. It's time for school. Good to think that Ivan's been translating these books for you. Can I lift anything else up in this room? Hey, uh, my, my color changed. Is that correct? 
Oh god, I really am going down the dark side. Here's some donuts for breakfast. Make sure to eat them, okay? Have a good day at school. Jelly-filled donuts! Not to be confused with the jelly-filled donut. It's an actual jelly-filled donut. <laughs> they understand the reference. Today is a red day. Oh, there's a... It's Lisa Jellos, but you gotta get to school. The light are there now. I wonder if I could change more colors, or if it's just like a day-by-day -day thing. Good morning, class! How has practice held up? Have you been testing your abilities? <laughs> oh, I have! I had a rocky start! But thanks to me, I cleaned the town with some pesky rumble! That was you? My, my! It touches me to see someone dedicated to our town. Thank you! This opens a great example, everyone. Magic should be used for purposes like this and not what you did. When we all work together, the town thrives. Plus for today, the spell we learn helps with our hearing. With it, we can hear whispers, understand tongues that one might not. It's a formidable spell when used in the right hands. Listening is a key part in helping others. Without it, a compromise cannot be made. And drastic action occurs from assumptions. So when listening, always be sure to understand what the other is saying. In the distance you hear a beautiful melody play. You learned the hearing spell. Now that wraps up the class. Remember tomorrow we'll be going on a field trip, so don't be late. Cyclops, girl. Oh, oh, you're Sena. Hi. Oh, that's me. You're looking very nice today. Oh. Oh, um, thank you. That's really sweet. Okay, I complimented you. Now you owe me. Oh. Okay. Huh? You owe me. Oh, help me find my sister, please. Please, she's been hiding all morning. But I can't find her. Oh, uh, I, I guess I'll help. But, um, well, didn't you just call the police? Do we have a police up in the clouds? Oh, oh no, of course not. I don't want to call my parents, and she's only hiding as a game. A game, a game. So can you please find her? She's in the town. Come on. Hey, Jello, sorry about the other day. But I... No, stop. It was too much. I'm really sorry. I can't be around you. I get it. It's... It's okay. Record my memory bird. I go into town. Oh, there you are. I'm going to show you how to get to town. It's not hard to... Oh, no, not at all. Simply climb down the slider. The keyword is down. Oh, don't go up this. You'll go into a house. That'd be oh, so, so awkward. Oh, well, let's go. It's game time. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should have asked Ivan about this. So we'll ask Ivan. Because we gotta be a good... A good brother or something. Don't want to be a bad brother. Don't want to do bad things. Hello, Zena. How was school? What's with that face? I need to go to town. To town? I see. No, I shouldn't hold you back. You can go, but... Oh, you haven't eaten yet. Here, how about this? We have a snack of donut that you can go into town. Okay. You have a short snack break with Ivan. This gives you basic safety when traveling in town. The donuts are simple in nature, but they help sweeten up an otherwise boring conversation. I got permission to go in town. Let's go conquer it. It's a Dark Lord route. The Jellos. Snoop. Yeah, that's right. I'm in your room, looking around. A fine set of books on a fine feeling table. It's a shame you cannot read them. Just climb down the world tree. 
People keep telling me to go back to the outskirts. It's really scary out there. I don't want to go there. But if I do go, I get a free dessert. It's really hard to figure out what to do. Go. Free dessert. Is this Animal Crossing World? There was some rubbish on the ground the other day, but I chewed them away. What is going on? Where am I? Bird! Toki Watome. Something's up ahead, you don't know what, but... I have a very, very bad feeling about this. Continue? Ah, we made a save. Whoa! So it ends here. You shouldn't have gone there. You know that, right? No matter, I'll find a way to. The voice cuts off. Hey, bird. Hello, thank you for playing the sightless demo. You know this is the only inning. There are many routes to this demo, and I've seen them all. Happy ones, sad ones. Oh, you want to see them? Perhaps I can bring you along to the past. Back, back to the past. And let's go. It is one save. Plus the town was saved. Wait, it didn't like restore my save to there? What is going on? This is directly at the beginning. So I'll just skip this dialogue and go back to what we're doing. You know, just see how far down it goes. Ah! Boys Town looks a lot different. It's a little leery. It's like rubble over there. Uh, I never noticed there was a big hospital over here. But the, the area seems kinda like... Hey, there's a bird following me! I don't trust that bird, man. I feel like that thing is some kind of dark elder god. Maybe there's only like no life down here unless I... You're in a tricky situation, are you? I am. I want to get home. Oh, I probably missed school and Ivan's probably worried sick. Oh, there, there. It'll be okay. There's a ladder nailed to this tree. You'll be back up in no time. Promise. Really? Thank you. Thank you, um, what was your name? Maybe they aren't here anymore. We're gonna get back home, though, and soon. There's something a little, there's a little undercurrent to this story we're definitely discovering. I, I'm kind of reminded of Patty and Mr. Miles. Sina, where have you been? You, you've been crying. I, I did something bad. I, I thought the tree near our house could be climbed, but I fell off and... The tree? You've been down there. Now you must be eliminated. It's okay. You're okay, okay? The world below that tree is dangerous. I... I'm really happy that you came back in one piece. Let's have some dinner, and I can find you a story to read. And after that, I can tuck you into bed. How about that? Uh, thank you, Ivan. And so, Sena's first day came to an end. Things were scary, terrifying, and awful. But now you're home, and nothing bad happens at home. Only good. Only good. Perhaps this is why Ivan was so uneasy about sending you off to school. Yes, perhaps... perhaps school could wait. I wouldn't understand. He'd understand. Hi, I'm the Elder God Bird. How you doing? Wait. This is new. You know, you don't have to study with them. There's plenty of books in your room. What's that mean? Mysterious cryptic bird. I guess cryptic bird trying to tell me about like, the way to get the ever endings. Okay, so we're back in town. The question is, where do I go from here? You guys. Sweet couple. Did you want something? 
Yeah, did you want something? Well, have you seen someone who looks like Ruya? I'm looking for her sister. To the east. Yeah, to the east. Okay, see you both around. So, this way? Is this... You know, I don't know what this wow. is. Is that... is that... is this house safe? Oh. I see. Are you ready? Ready? Who's speaking? <laughs> A mystery. Find me. Find me. It's locked. Oh no, no, no. Just in case I'll pick these up. Look at this stack of books. I don't want to fight, but there's something eerie about this. Poltergeist. Do I want to go deeper into the mouth? Is this a smart thing? I think I'm stuck. Okay, this time I did not get stuck. Instead, I'm just going into like the belly of a beast that's shaped like a house. Oh, getting warmer. <laughs> Find me if you dare. Dare? The door is locked. Please just show yourself. Boring. Find me. Come on. Something's in the way. Use a float spell? Sure. I feel like that was the wrong choice. Maybe. I have to move you there. Then I have to move you down. There's no other option. Okay. It's a little bit weird, but you know. Oh, here we go. Here's here's a serious jam. Get up with that jam. This is the end of path, isn't it? Oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> Where are you? This is really Jin An. Show yourself. Who is looking for you? Show myself. You still want me to show myself. Very well. This is not good. Let's play. He's in a book flying. Now she misses by a mile. Listen. Listen closely. They won't find me. Try to locate. Commence throwing of the book. It's in book flying. Ah! That's not how it works! Janon retreats to the shadows. You're talking to the Dark Overlord here. As if we're not reading. He's in a book flying. See the call out option. But we're doing this route first. He's in a book flying. Ah! Uh -huh. I'll. I, I, I'll stop. I, I got carried away again. Why were you trying to do... No, you shouldn't have done that. If, if you're really Janan, your sister's looking for you. I'm sorry. It's unlocked. I'll return the books and then... I need to get home. We live a very... Kind of, uh... It's kind of an interesting route. Interesting route. Hey, bird. Let's go home. I'm not making friends! Sina, where have you been? I've been out, I... Out, Sina, you need to ask before you go out. No excuses. Another boss of me, Ivan. Look at my red hair. Where did you go? Did you have fun? Um... It was... Okay, Ive and I... Um... When is dinner? I can smell from here. You quietly have dinner with Ivan, keeping to yourself. Your magic. Why was this happening? But... Was it really your magic? Or... The qualms of some kind of let's player trying to get a hundred percent run? You use magic on someone. You really are keeping it up, huh? You don't even have to ask. Here. See if you learned a spell. Knock knock. 
Wake up, Sina. It's time for school. The the mystery spell. So today's the field trip, isn't it? Here, have this. But please be careful, okay? You got the heart-shaped bento box. Wow, really? Jelly-filled donut. The jelly-filled donut. Pink bento box. So this should be the last day of the demo. So we'll see what our ending delivers to us. Field trip time. Good morning to my favorite class. As you know, we're going on a field trip. Follow me and keep close. We're going somewhere rumored to be crafted from magic itself. Hey, hey, lucky boy. Are you excited? A little. A place made from magic? Does it really exist? What? Of course it does. Why do all people have doubts, hmm? Huh? From what our teacher said, we've heard about it, but we can't make assumptions, right? <laughs> what a right. You're sure something lucky, boy. Huh? So, so it does exist or does it not? I want to know. Tell me. I, um... Think it's only a rumor? It doesn't exist. We can't say it's true just because you just said it. It's only a rumor. Oh, I see. I see. Thanks. Um, sure. Anyway, let's go! Okay. Quiet, bird. So wh where's the field trip start? Come on, Slowpoke, we need to catch up to the teacher! No, seriously, where is everybody? Class? This is where'd you go? Doors went open. Hello? It's a snow world here. It's far too cold to continue. I guess every area is kind of like the seasons. Like, what's this place? Guy yeah, looks pretty bad. Strange forces in the way. It's a little bit interesting world. Actually, I'm, I'm actually legitimately pretty curious what this world's about. Here's Scrap World. Who are you? Can you hear me? See me? No, not him. You. You can, can you? But if so... No, not now. We'll meet again. Soon, I promise. But now is not the time. What an eerie sound. But that wasn't scary, it's just wind. Are you talking to me, the player? There we go, metagame. Guahaha, finally, finally? Who? Finally. What? Huh? I found you. I can't believe I found you. You has cursed me, you. You must be killed. What? This will just be a field trip. So there's a giant spider. Did I lose him? No, you haven't. What? But now you have. The threat is now gone. Surprised. But you know, I'm always here. Remember. I won't let anyone touch you this round. No one. Then the stranger meant it. For the next few days, no one would stand in your way. But who and what? What's a story for another time and a fuller game? This is weird. We didn't actually get to explore this last time. Pretty quirky. Hey, bird.
It's a long path. Um, that's water. Oh, there's a guy here. It's it's Brock. Oh hey, hello. I'm busy fishing. Looking for our boat. It's out at sea. Sorry. Normal enough. That in itself is a little quirky, though. Magical berries blocking the way. It's weird. Wait, we should not stop forward, young one. It's dangerous. Oh, sorry, um, can you know where Janan is? I guess that she's still indoors. Go to the building you passed earlier. Yeah, I've never been to this place before. Hey, you get some seeds or a flower for a switch with someone. Can you go on the back? God, can kind of bug out the back. There's a bakery here, too. The goods are just behind the glass. It's absolutely tasty. Hello, can I help you with a baked good? Damn, I can't get a good, good slice of pie. Let's try getting grabbed by the spider. Ah! Do they think you can run? Give me a good thing about this awful body of mine. Let's begin. Hello, witch. Don't remember me. I'm not surprised. My name is Tash Pukon. You went to monster. Five years ago, you put a curse on me. An awful one, the one that told me from my home. You haven't even to say to that, witch. I don't know what you're talking about. Ding dum, that's fine. Let's see how long that holds up. Use the mystery spell. Nah! Maybe it's disappeared. Is it Sena? You, you did this, didn't you? Perhaps I have. I'm getting the teacher. Don't you dare move from that spot. Kill away stop before you can stop him. Soon enough, he returns to the teacher. There he is. He's the one who killed that person. The legend's coming true again, isn't it? You... you shouldn't say that. But it's true, wasn't it? Two people were hurt. One was killed. You couldn't be. Your head hurts. Your legs limply follow Chimera. Back to the woods. And from there to home. Are you... Sena, are you sure you're okay? Sena? I'm okay. Promise. Why wouldn't I be okay? There's gonna be this full version of this is gonna have some real divergences and routes. Bye! We'll go home and be antisocial. Take the bird's advice and just study in my room. All oh, these are last year's school books. I haven't told you can refresh your memory once in a while. This year's school books aligned here. It's like I was language and grammar. Da -da -da -da. Let's see. Stay on your own, yes. If you get time to study, turn down Jello's offer. A few hours pass and you think you've got the spell down. I didn't call you down for dinner, you'd probably show off your results. He's impressed how quickly you learn. Further study occurs after dinner, but soon enough you fall into slumber. How curious. Why are you doing this? No, don't tell me. I like surprises. Wake up, Sina. It's time for school. Alright, and there'll be any jump skips or there's no more new scenes. Time to ignore you. And just stay home once again. Making no friends, making no friends. Just gonna go back home and play the video games I've been mean, study.
It's been an afternoon at home. Yes. It's been an afternoon at home disregarding Ria's game. Why do something so dangerous? I've been prepped for dinner as usual, but... Ivan, do I... Do I have to go to the field trip tomorrow? The trip? No, you don't have to, but... Is something wrong? It's supposed to be down in the town. I don't think I'm ready yet. With that, Ivan allows you to stay home. The days that follow are uneventful. But it feels as if maybe, just maybe, something's watching, waiting. For what? You're not sure. Let's try do never ending variation here. This is a semi antisocial route. You gotta avoid the spider. Did I lose him? Do you really think you can run? <laughs> That's the one good thing about this awful body of mine. Let's begin. Oh, so you can't avoid this part no matter what, except that one ending. Hello, witch. Don't remember me, I'm not surprised. My name is Tash Pukun. You've been turned monster. Five years ago, you put a curse on me, an awful one, the one that took me from my home. Do you have anything to say to that, witch? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm dumb, that's fine. It's the only one that looks up. I have a lot of food. Guard. Ah! That was only a small bite. You're feeling already. Weak. You're so weak. Please stop. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I Really, I don't. Lies, lies. You were there when it happened. You do not know. How? I can't see you. All I know is you sound scary mad, and I'm scary about that. I'm sorry about that, ever. I can't. You can't be. You're joking. I'm not going to be fooled. I'm not. Eat the croissant. Ah! You're really hurt now. So, witch, make me human. Now! I'd do it if I could. I really mean it. Do you? Maybe you shouldn't have cursed me in the first place. You know what that's done to me, do you? I... No, no, I... whatever it is, I'm sorry. Stop it, stop it! I can't, this is how it's supposed to go, I... No, I have to kill you now. I tell him that everything will think I'm a talent's monster. Any last words? I... Don't use mysterious spell. I I'm sorry for whatever I've done. It's too late for that. Jello, stop! You're... You're a giant spider person with a scarf. Everyone has scarves in this universe, that's great. What are you doing? Is this really what I'm seeing right now? Seriously? I, uh... Well, Mr. Pukun, I want to believe you. How is any of what you're doing right now helping? It's... this person is... See, that's the one who... Oh, I get it now. But this? This isn't how things are going to get fixed, not at all. I apologize. Tash can be a bit impulsive, but he's a good person, I assure you. Ta Cello, do you know Tash? He's all talk. Aside from you, he's never hurt anyone. It's all rumors and superstitions. But we could tear this over some tea and sweets. And so Sena listened quietly to the unusual tale of how Jello met Tash. Like how a sharp wind blew him off the tree into the domain of Tash. How they met and how Tash helped him home that day. They talked of their similar likes. How both loved to study together. For two days, they were already fast friends. And then came the topic of the witch. This is so... So like Saturday morning cartoonish. The witch is the one who sealed the moths of reverie, who cursed us with death spells. She also ensured that our land was filled with magic, in the event that something terrible happened. But she isn't alive anymore. The witch doesn't exist. So, what do you think Satan is the witch? Because I am. I tried to spook him. For fun, you know. But when I did, you changed my form. Into this. 
That was you? I didn't leave home for a while after that. I really thought a monster was after me. To think that I... Why did I... What were we talking about? Oh, has your magic acted weird before? Yes. I think it has. I see. I think it requires more research. But maybe your magic was harder to control back then. And perhaps it was. To think that a mere misunderstanding caused Tasha to change so much. Has it been the only time, or... That's a lot of lore drop right there. So this time around, we're gonna try doing a good route and see what happens. Um, if there's any redundant scenes, uh, of course I'm gonna skip them. Let's stick to the basics. Same. Letting large objects would be nice, but in that manner, I'm civil enough to know not to do this. People simply shouldn't use magic for harm. <laughs> you gotta know Jello a bit, taking his advice. Losing this balance, it'd be a shame indeed. I should be getting home. That was a nice normal day of me not throwing books at people with my force powers. I'm I'm sorry. I know I'm sorry, and I can't stop it now. It's a little bit different there. So let's try to using the good route version of this. Target located. Call to the source. You found me. Now it's my turn. Hide. Be quietly. Oh. I give. Where are you? Oh, that's a good spot. Your turn. Calling out. Hide again. Okay, it's your turn, by the way. Target locate. Call out. You found me. That was a good game. Let's play again sometime. <laughs> Wasn't I scary? That game's a game, though. You found me. So you're... Didan, yes. My sister sent you here, right? We were having a dare. I told her that if she didn't, couldn't find me... Well, I didn't think she would actually bring someone out to find me. But I dared her to do so. Man, you're really scared, weren't you? All because of this voice. I... it was spooky. I was seriously to be able to use my magic on you. Really? You're not supposed to use magic on Anvers. Hee hee hee. I know, but you're really scaring me. <laughs> you worry a lot. I'm not actually upset, but it's still good to note. Here, why not help you back to the entrance? No spooky things attached. You're really tall. You got a nice scarf. Oh, Janan, you found her! Thank you so much, I- So dare, huh? Oh, oh, whoops, maybe. I should have told you. Oh, no. It's okay. It was just scary. Really scary. Oh, Jian. Classic Jian. Oh, classic. Anyway, thank you. Oh, oh, thank you. Here's a little something to make up for it. Get a croissant. It's a croissant. I take free food as payment. Enjoy, and oh, walk home safe. I can take those books back for you, too. Was that your guy's house? Whatever. Tomorrow you're gonna die. And I'm gonna stop it. Close your eyes. See if you're learning a spell. Alright, let's just get caught by Spire ahead of time. Initiate the fight. Hello, Witch, don't worry, I'm surprised. Same dialogue. So I'm just skipping through this dialogue. Just 
to your spell or hold off. I'm sorry for whatever I've done. It's too late for that. G get out of here! J Jello? Please, you you have to get to the teacher. I I I'm so sorry. And so Sana searches for the teacher. When he does well, it's far too late. Jello's corpse lays before them, suspended in the mouth of Tash Pocoon. Wait a minute. This is a big in contrast to the ever ending. Without a moment to spare, Camaro lobs to spill the monster ending his life painlessly. But why? I saw nothing but rage in his eyes, young Sena. He was blinded by revenge. Oh. Because we didn't hang out with a Jello that one day. Jello falls off the tree, hangs out with Tash, and becomes friends with him, which lets him live. Death is not what I want to make a practice of. You understand that, right? But this person, he was an exception. There was no way out of this, and... As teachers, my duty to protect my students. I... I couldn't let another fall to him. As other teachers try to put a calm, composed manner of speech, but... They appear to be shook by the ordeal. But... Who wouldn't be? Poor Jello. So now we're gonna do the good route, but we're gonna use a spell at the end. Enemy has disappeared. Sena? D did you do this? I, I. Why did I. Jello? Stayed away. No, I'm not. I can't be scared of. I'll get the teacher, okay? We'll figure this out. And so, taking your hand, Jello escorts you to the teacher. Jello and Sena explain what happened the monster to the outburst of magic. Camara decides that perhaps Sena's power was only trying to protect him. It makes sense, but... Was the death really the answer? And what if they killed others? We need to keep this between us and the teacher. It's a stretch, but... If we went out that you could do this, the whole town might think you're... The witch. Cello, do not speak forever. Huh? I... We cannot speak forever about this. I'm bringing you both home, okay? So what was Trello trying to say? Did I lose them? You know, you think you could run. It's a good thing about this awful body of mine. Let's begin. There, witch. It's the same, all the same dialogue here. So, it's one funnel duration we have to get. We refuse to use a spell, and we have to make sure Jello hates us. Hold off and use this spell. I'm sorry for whatever I've done. It's too late for that. <laughs> we just outright died. So it ends here. You should have listened to me. Why didn't you? I was trying to protect you. Zena, I don't understand. I... The voice cuts off. So, with no Jello to jump in and save you, because he doesn't like you, and you refusing to use a spell, you just outright die. Kind of like the one time when you go down the path, um, early on, where I'm assuming the same guy kills you early, because you don't have the spell ready at all. So that's it for the Sightless demo. Well, that's actually pretty solid showing for a demo. It, it gave me kind of a taste of what I should expect from the full game, and like I said before, it kind of reminds me of Patty's and Mr. Miles, along with a few other things, and the, the setting kind of is... I, I almost described it like a bit like a kind of modern-day cartoon, like Adventure Time, or any of these kind of very... kind of weird world kind of shows. And of course it does have like this little bit dark undercurrent, um, and it has some kind of hook there, where I'm, I'm a little curious, like, are we possessed by the witch or something? What's the twist? And there's a little bit kind of change in the gameplay and everything based on your choices. 
So, as far as I have a taste what they wanted to go for, I like it. It's not exactly the most original concept. There's been a few that have done that, but um, for the most part, the way it's done in the mixer is kind of unique. And I I'm legitimately actually, like I said, um, curious about where the storyline goes and how this world works and like this mysterious lore and everything. Like, even the brothers are kind of interesting just because they're the only seemingly human ones in this world. And, I mean, it's a little bit weird. Like, where's their family or anything? And why is the photos that way? A lot of unanswered things, so... I'll definitely be following this game's development. And I did like how the, the RPG battles, the ones they had on there, were not traditional RPG battles. They were kind of like... Little puzzle things. They were very simple in this form, but maybe, like, obviously in the full release, they'd be expanded and a little more complicated. But yeah. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play the Sightless demo. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.